Hey y'all, I'm coming today with a what's on my face, uh, talk about my hair. Um, I will be coming later on um, to do my thoughts on the um, Iyala Van Zandt Mega Fix, uh, where it's fix, you know, it's the two gay pastors. I won't really, I was trying honestly to wait until all three shows and just do, you know, my thoughts on all three shows, but mm -mm, I guess. Mm. Okay, so, um, I, st I am going to make a video, I'm, but I'm going to make it on my phone as, a, you know, just a disclaimer. I'm going to make it on my phone just showing um, my vanity because y'all, this lighting is everything here now. And it's all thanks to my baby. So I'm going to uh, make a video probably tonight. I don't know how long it's going to take to um, upload, so but I'm going to make it. Um, I'm doing, today is the only day that I'm having to do my tea. Um, you can see the steams. I, I boil my water for my tea. Um, my flat tummy tea today is the only day that I'm having to do it um, incorrectly. This morning, um, you know, I went to church, of course. And I didn't. I woke up later than I wanted to. Um, I woke up like 9:30, and I actually wanted to get up around nine. That'll give me time to get up, fix me something to eat, do my tea because you have to do it, you know, in the morning with breakfast. So you have to do it with food. Then I still have time to shower, you know, get ready. I woke up by 9:35, so yeah. So I didn't have time. So today. I'm not gonna skip it. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna do it, you know. Now, for let me do it with my lunch. Okay, so y'all, this is like I said, this is uh, what's on my face. This is these are my nails. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna do my nails tonight or if I'm gonna do them tomorrow night because I am off both days. Um, I said I was gonna stay up last night and do them, but I was tired. Mm, I was tired, so I may end up doing them. I don't. I don't really know. I don't know if I'm gonna do them tonight or tomorrow. Um, I mean, I ain't got nothing to do either way. So, um, so let's just get into it. Um, first of all, my lip. I do want to talk about what's on my lip. I did talk about it, and I know it looks really bright. Um, it looks really glossy. Um, what's on my lip? It, it's actually two of them, but I'm gonna show the one I have not opened. Um, it says new Milani lip intense liquid color. Now this one is fiery coral. That's this one. Um, I actually got it from Dollar Tree. So this is like a little small Dollar Tree find also. Um, I got it from Dollar Tree on um, the other day. I bought three of them. So I bought this one, the um, fiery coral. I bought this one which i opened first um violet attic and then i bought this one which i opened this morning um this one is red extreme now i must say i absolutely love these things now if you have a dollar tree if you just happen to be in there and you see these please pick them up i went back today i went to get my coupons because uh, the Dollar Tree here sells the Sunday paper for a dollar with the coupons in it. So that's where I get my coupons from now. So when I was in there, I go every Sunday. So when I was in there, I, um, I got these last Sunday. But when I was in there, um, I went ahead and I looked to see if they had any more of these, like any different colors. Um, not only did they not have any more colors, but they didn't even have these anymore. And when I got these last Sunday, all three of the slots were completely filled. So if you get them, I mean, if you see them, pick them up. Um, the reason that I, I actually, believe it or not, if you watch enough of my videos, you already know I love purple. I love the color of purple. Um, I love different shades of uh, purple. My wedding was two shades of purple. So I absolutely love purple. With that being said, this Violet Attic, it's just not purple enough to me. It's, it's more of a pinkish purple. Um, and when you put it on by itself, um, I don't know. I just, I'm not crazy about it. So I'm going to come up. What I did was I put the purple, the violet purple, um, violet attic, I should say. I put it on the 
I did it kind of like an ombre look. It doesn't really, hold on, let me just play with the lighting a little bit because now it's just too, yeah, for this it's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to play with the lighting just for a second. Um, you still can't see it. Um, but I did it, I did almost like an ombre. I did the outer parts of my lip, the top, the bottom, in the violet purple, and then in the very middle, I came over with this red. Now y'all, so it's two different colors um, kind of blended. I'm normally not one for a red lip. I'm not. I'm just normally not one for a red lip. But this red, this right here, like, like seriously, I cannot say enough. And if you go to like CVS, Walgreens, or something like that, if they have Milani products, they sell these same things for 5 and $6. But you can get them right out on that Dollar Tree for a hot dollar if if your dollar tree has them so if you see them in your dollar tree pick them up yeah i say pick them up all right um as always you're gonna see me i have everything over here on my vanity so i'm gonna be turning this way and looking um this way now as always uh first thing i did was my brows which i use a combination of these two i talked to a girl that came to my job um yesterday and her her brows was just gorgeous and she says she uses um it's an elf elf brow kit she said she got it from like walmart and it's a gel um it's a brow kit it has gel and powder um and she said that's what she uses she does she said she doesn't actually use the powder she uses the gel and a pencil so i'm i'm gonna see how much it costs if it's cheap you know cheap enough she said it was cheap um, but if it's like under $6, I'm going to get it. Um, I just like how her brows look. But right now, I use this wet child. Um, I only use this part, the brush part, just to brush and get my uh, brows together beforehand. Then I use this wet and wild um, milk, no, mink brown. And this is an actual um, a brow pencil. Um, so I go ahead and... I use these two to get my brows together. Then after that, I come back with my, and I will be washing all of my pencils today. Uh, I come back with my e.l.f. concealer brush and my Maxi Professional BB Cream Corrector. Come under my eye, go over, um, you know, to, to highlight my eye. Um, we are planning a trip the end of next month potentially um, to go back to Atlanta to visit our friends again if we do go back to Atlanta um, I will be going back to the Macy's going back to the Mac counter because I want to get them the Mac corrector um, concealer I still have this I, I, but what I, want, what I will pretty much use this for is just for my um brows to highlight my brows um so this is pretty much gonna be all i use for um so I'm, I'm really excited about it uh yeah um i didn't make a video last last sunday because my husband had to leave um for training um so he'll be gone for a few weeks yesterday was meant not yesterday last sunday was like really hectic when he comes back you know he'll be back and we're planning on going out of town um so let's see after i did that i went ahead um i washed my face first i was in the shower this morning i washed my face with this complexion um some kind of i can't remember I think it's ambi, this ambi complexion bar i washed my face with it um then i lotion my face really good um those are the first two things i did then before i even did my brows um because my, normally my brows are the very first thing i do but before i even do, did my brows i came with the um black radiance um true complexion shine control primer i went ahead and um you know put this on my face i even, even though i use the maybelline cover stick to wipe my eye out um to put my shadow on i even put just a dab dab even though i know they have the um eye primer i just use this um then of course i wipe my eye out like i said um today on my eye i actually use this 
Alme Intense um, Eye Color. Um, it says for green eyes. Um, if you recall, you watched the video, I went to Ulta when I had the Alme coupon. Um, I went to Ulta and I got a lot of Alme. Um, I got these. I got like four or five of these. Um, I got some, like each one of these was like. 49 cent. I got some Alme lipstick, which I don't recommend to anybody. Um, yeah, I don't recommend the Alme lipstick to anybody, but um, I just never really use these um, because I, I didn't get them, you know, because my eyes are brown. I didn't get them, I got them for the specific um, colors in each one. So this one I actually did use um, on my bottom of my eye. I actually used the right one. I used this color and then in my crease, which I have this um, e.l.f. brush that I bought, which was a hot dollar. I love this brush. Um, from Walmart, a dollar. I mean, this is actually a really good brush. E.l.f. brushes, period, are really good. Um, I've, I don't have some of them for five years. And they were a dollar, so. Um, but I used the second color in my um, crease, and at the top, you know, above my crease, I went back to my neutrals palette, um, which is always this is always like my neutrals palette. This one and the the purple one that I have by Elf. These like I don't know what I'm gonna need because these are a staple. Next to my foundation, I take these things whenever I go out of town. If I don't have nothing else but my foundation, my um, Maybelline cover stick to wipe my eye out, and this, and these two, this one and the purple one, that's all I need. I can get my whole life, um, period. Because these things, I love them. So this is always my staple. Um, like I said, when I go to church, I don't really do anything bold. Um, I try to, you know, I may have the bottom color, you know, uh, you know, a little bit intense, but I always, as I go up, I always make it really kind of neutral. Um, so this is a color that pretty much matches. It's like a shade or so darker, but that um, I love this color. So I use this one to go ahead and do above the crease, and I did this one as my highlight. Um, I absolutely. Like I said, believe it or not, even though I love the color of purple and I have this, um, this purple one, I, you know, I have this one. This one is actually my favorite. I love, love, love this one. And I actually, I'm looking at the price. I got both of these from Ross years ago. I got both of these things from Ross about five years ago and neither one of them was $5. So yeah, that shows that I'm still rocking them. On my lashes, um, the thing that I love now is the Long Lash um, Ultra Lengthening Mascara. I absolutely love this stuff. It really makes your eyelashes pop. Um, and of course, I use my Handy Daddy. It is dirty. I will be watching it tonight. MAC 190 brush. Um, to put on my MAC Studio Tech. Um, I use the, I use this old, that I've had for a long time, this old e.l.f. foundation brush to come back over with my concealer and go under my eyes. Um, and just in a couple of um, problem areas that I have for my PCOS. Um, then I buffed it out. Um, so that is pretty much my face. That is pretty much my Sunday face. Um, for the purpose of the video, I did reapply, um, both of the lip colors, yeah, for the purpose of the video. Um, I always say, tell y'all, I am an emotional person, I do cry, um, at church, so, like, under here, it has, um, come, just a little bit. I will say, though, that, um, I noticed, because at first, when I, for years, I never used a primer. Um, and like if when I would get emotional stuff, I would see, you know, like the makeup running and stuff if I didn't catch it in time. But now, honestly, 
it don't really come off like the most that has come off really is my um the mascara um so like i said that's what's on my face i do want to take a second to talk about my hair because within the last three or so days i have got received so many compliments on my hair so it's shocking um and i say that because i every time we, I, every time i talk about my hair i have said over and over again that it was a struggle you know it was a big struggle um matter of fact this morning i had one of the ladies uh, one of the deacon deaconess um she was asking me she was like um what do you do to your hair like what products do you use what what do you do because your hair just looks so good and she's like honey when i say i got 4c hair i got 4c hair i love her i said what do you think i got i said i have 4c hair i said i said it's just that i said you have to i said the only thing is this took time <laughs> i said i have been natural for five and a half years almost six years the first almost three years of being natural honestly i didn't like my hair i didn't i didn't i'm just gonna be honest i didn't like my hair i didn't give up on it because my hair was so it just would stick to my head no matter what it did it just would stick to my head um like it shrinkage was terrible um but I, I like I said I didn't give up on it. The main reason that I didn't give up on my hair was because I have said this more than one time in videos. I'm sorry, y'all. It's my husband. I have said it more than one time in videos. My actual hair, if if I didn't like try to stretch it out or something, it would just shrink up to a, a super TWA um i mean yeah now slowly as i started um hold on y'all sorry i got top my baby slowly as i started um drinking more water and you know that's what actually helped my hair to not shrink up as bad honestly was the water um she asked me she was like what products do you use i told her i said well honey i just trial and error still i mean um when i first went natural i was a product junkie i'm just gonna be honest i tried everything i tried miss jesse's i tried all kinds of stuff that just did not work on my hair some of that i will acknowledge was my fault because i wasn't drinking enough water but so i actually said that the um miss jesse's I, I will try it again i, I said that i'm gonna give it that one another try because my hair, the, the consistency of my hair is completely different now. So I said, I'm going to give it a try. Um, but yeah, like I told her, I even had this guy, this little young guy came to my job the other day. He was mixed. And he was like, um, how do you get your hair to do that? And I was like, do what? And he was talking about my twist out. And which was surprising for me because his hair was, you know, it was kind of pretty curly. And I was like, um, well, I just twist it up. He was like, oh, he was like, man, I... I, you know, I got so with my hair, and he was just like, and that was really surprising to me because I'm like, wow, you know, this guy, you know, I mean, he's like a teenager, but it was still really surprising to me to, to hear him asking me for, you know, questions and advice on my hair. Um, today, um, when I left to go, when I came to get my coupons, I was going through the gate. Um, you know, if you are in the military or ever been on a military post, you have to show your ID to get in. Um, to get through gates so i was just looking at my id um the picture that i had and the picture that i took um i had been natural at that point for three years yeah and when i took the picture and i had a wig and i was just looking at the picture it was like a natural looking wig and i was just looking at it and i, I finally realized today that my hair now because i love that wig but my hair now is longer than what that what it looked like in that wig like with that wig on and my hair is just that the wig had more volume i'm pretty sure i can my hair can have a lot of volume i really i don't even really pick my hair out um
Sorry, y'all. The game is playing. Yeah. You know, I hear I watch football. And I'm like, wait a minute. But, um, but yeah. So I was like, wow. You know, like, I was really, like, proud of myself. I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm proud of my hair. Um, last night, I just did a natural break, um, flat twist band on one side. Um, something else that I'm really excited to talk about. I was just watching random videos because I've been contemplating dyeing my hair just rent with a rinse, not putting the bleach, no, none of that. But I saw a girl, I was just looking at her video because she had uh, dyed her hair and she was showing, like, you know, that you know, she was like, Well, I went to sleep with it, and she was like, Um, yeah, I wrap my hair, I twist my hair, and I wrap my hair when I go to sleep. And she was like, if y'all want to see a picture on that, just let me know. And I was just like, hmm. And she was like, um, you know, I have a lot of benefits from, you know, doing my hair twist and then doing it like a wrap. Um, this is my baby again. I'm sorry, y'all. So I actually started doing that. And when I tell y'all, because it's pretty much what it does stretches your hair um so it's still a two strand twist it stretches out your hair without putting any heat in it and when i tell y'all i have really i can tell the difference in my hair and i don't know if it's because of the fact that when i wrap it i put um oil and stuff on it um because this is the scarf right here when i wrap my hair i pin you know i I, first of all, I take my time and two strand twist it, and after I'm done, I wrap it just like you would wrap, um, just like you would wrap, um, relaxed hair or or straight hair. I wrap it. I take these bobby pins, which I have some some really long bobby pins. I take the bobby pins. And I pin it. Um, so yeah, this is kind of uh, you know a good little bit about pins because my hair is thick, but it's not uncomfortable to sleep in. After I have pinned it and I'm happy with how it's pinned, if I have any loose, um, you know, twist, I'll just, that didn't wrap correctly, I'll just take them and stretch them and pin them somewhere to where they're completely stretched. Um, then I take this scarf. It's not a silk scarf. It's a regular old cotton scarf. I take this scarf and I put it around my head. Then I take my my bonnets because I have this purple one and I have a brown one. I take one of the bonnets and I put it on and that's how I sleep. And when I take my hair and pull the bobby pins out and unwrap it, my two strand twists are completely stretched out. It's still twisted but it's completely stretched out. And before, when I would just twist it go to sleep, it, through the night, it would wake up. So yeah, if you have, I, like I said, I just randomly saw a girl. I, I don't subscribe to her. Um, I wish I did. I can't find it no more. But yeah, try that. If you have a lot of shrinkage, try twisting it up like you normally do and wrapping it to where, because it actually helps it. Um, so yeah, like just like I saw another girl's video who said she only washes her hair in two strand twists. Like she'll take her time, she'll twist her hair, and then she'll wash it. And that's the only way she washes her hair now. Y'all, I started doing that. I see a world of difference with that because it does not shrink up. It doesn't kink up if you twist your hair and wash it with it already being twisted. And even my husband was like, you gonna, you gonna wash your hair while it's twisted? Yeah. You still getting in there, you still getting at the, um, the roots, you still getting your scalp. But you washing it, but you keeping it from shrinking up on your head. So y'all, that's just it. Like seriously, the point of all of this, as far as my hair, is do not give up on your natural hair. It is a process. It is a journey. Because for me, my mama started straightening my hair with a hot comb when I was two years old. I went natural when I was like twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven. I think is when I went natural 27 28 is when I went natural well 27 so for all that time from 2 to 27 I had some kind of chemical hair because at one point I had or some kind of you know treated hair because at one point y'all for like a year I had a jerry girl you know I had my 
baby, so we all went through that. But for the most part, I either had, you know, I was getting, when I was a toddler, I was getting hot combed out. Then when I got, you know, some size in me, I went to, the first thing I got was a jerry curl before I actually got a relaxed yeah. Then I got started, was relaxed. So natural hair is, even though it's what grows out of your scalp, if you are somebody that's growing up, you know, that's a now that didn't grow up with seeing everybody with natural hair, like the next generation, like my daughter's generation, because I'm claiming it already, that I'm going to have a daughter, I'm claiming that, my daughter's generation is going to be completely different from how, for me. She's going to be natural her whole life. It's not going to be unnatural to her, but for me, it was a process. But y'all, that's it. Like I said, um, I will be doing a video later on today, just on the young look, because I have a lot to say about it. Um... Knowing me, I'll probably sit up tonight and do my nails, knowing me. Um, yeah, I probably will. But, um, but yeah, y'all, that's it. I do thank y'all for watching. I do videos strictly because I like doing them. Um, you know, that's it. Um, like I said, do not give up on your hair. Um, you know, yeah, don't give up on your hair. Um, because it is a process, but... It's worth it because if I would have given up and went back and just relaxed my hair first of all like I have said multiple times my hair never took good to relax and it didn't because um, my hair is really coarse my hair is thick my hair never took good to relaxing um, it would only stay straight for a short very short period of time but if I wouldn't have continued to relax it my hair would have broken off like it has always done it would get to a certain length and just break off like it has always done so I'm happy that I stuck with it, that I didn't give up. Yeah. All thing I'm like now, I'm contemplating putting a rinse in my hair. Because no, there is no way, shape, form that I would ever bleach my hair or do anything that's going to be harmful to my hair. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to take a picture and send to my love um, so he can see me on today. Um, but that's it y'all. I, I do thank y'all for watching. Um, and like I said, I will be back to do